citizen, right? Yeah. Well, right now, you're a prisoner. All right. He was the first US-born detainee in America's war on terror. John Walker Lynn didn't have the interests of an average teenage Californian. He converted from Christianity at age 16 and moved to Yemen to learn more about Islam. You have a slight accent, but you have a... Very good. I haven't spoken English with the native speakers in several months. I've been speaking Arabic. Lynn's self-discovery then took him to Pakistan, where he was part of a radical group. Interrogators say he later joined the Taliban. Walker chose to fight on the front lines with America's enemies. Terrorists didn't compel John Walker to join with them. John Walker chose terrorists. Walker was captured in Afghanistan by U.S. armed forces in 2001. He was present when a CIA officer was killed during an attack launched by the Taliban on Northern Alliance fighters. In a U.S. court a year later, he struck a plea bargain, admitting to having helped the terrorist group. For that, he was sentenced to 20 years behind bars in an Indiana federal prison. Three years short of his full term, Walker is being released for good behavior. But some U.S. lawmakers aren't convinced he's given up extremism. Once he's freed, police say they'll keep a close eye on him. For now, Walker is forbidden from reading any extremist material or from leaving the U.S. Regan Devine, TRT World.